What do Muslims believe about life after death? That's a good question. I'd like to begin by saying what we should say anytime we start a program. Bismillah. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. What happens to you when you die? You know, from the time we're born until the time we die, that's something that uh, probably should be something we deal with somewhere in there. It's inevitable. Every creature that's born will die. There's none that's going to live without death. So we have to go through that process. To the Muslim, there's no doubt. It's clear that we will be dead. We will die. And Allah says in the Quran, Kulu nafsan dayakatumot. Every single person will taste death. That's got to happen. But there's an interesting thing when it comes to death. The Muslim doesn't perceive this as being something where he goes off into Never Never Land or Fairyland or floating on a cloud. He doesn't perceive himself as being immediately judged or thrown into hell or going straight to heaven. The reason for this is because in Islam we understand that Judgment Day is waiting for everyone. So there is a period of time after death where a person will be in the grave. And then following that, he will be resurrected. He will be brought back to life. The same one who gave us life in the first place, Almighty God, will certainly have the ability to resurrect us again in the second place, give us life again on the day of judgment. Then after the judgment, the person will either go to hell or he'll go to paradise. The good news is everybody will be revived. Every single soul that was alive will die and then every single soul will be brought back again. That's good news. The bad news is, many of them will go to hell. Even Muslims will go to hell. But the good news is, even if they went to hell, that those who really believed in God, and He's one and has no partners, those who tried their best to worship Him, even though they made a lot of mistakes, would eventually be excused and exit that horrible place. The only ones who would have to remain in hell forever are those who refuse to accept the truth about Almighty God. Those who refuse to submit their will to His will and in full surrender to His peace and to His obedience. Now, another thing I'd like to mention about life after death is that for the Muslim, we know that there is something amazing, very amazing in the next life. The heaven is beyond your comprehension, but it's better than here. It's better than anything here, and your body is better than the body you have here. It's not like this body. It's much better, much more real. That's good news for those in the paradise. Bad news for those that don't make it.